Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 210. That is, what are DQL, DML, DDL, TCL, and DCL statements in SQL? Let me answer. So you may think that this is a software testing interview question, but the question is related to SQL, right? So it happens that in software testing interviews, you will not only be asked about only software testing, you will also be asked about SQL guys. SQL knowledge is also important for software testers. So you'll be tested against SQL also. But the problem here is I cannot explain everything in detail in this uh, answers for this uh, interview questions related to SQL because there's separate course I created on SQL, okay? So you have to learn this SQL from scratch from that separate course that I have created. After that, if you visit this particular question, then it will be very easy to understand the answer for this question, okay? Assuming that you go and watch my other course on SQL where I have explained everything from scratch, then come back here, okay? You will be able to end, you'll be able to understand the answer for this question. Okay, so first, first of all, anyhow, I'll be straightforwardly answering this question uh, without uh, digging too much deep. Okay, so what are the this uh, DQL, DML, DDL, DCL, DCL means they are nothing but SQL statements, guys. Okay, there are different SQL statements. That is all the SQL statements. Okay, all the statements in SQL can be categorized into DQL, DML, DDL, TCL, and DCL. DQL stands for data query language, okay? Data query language. So what are the statements we have under DQL? Only one statement we have that is select, okay? Select SQL statement. For retrieving the records from the tables, we generally use a select, okay? So that is DQL category. Then we have DML, okay? Data manipulation language, okay? All the SQL statements which fall into this data manipulation language category are these ones. Insert, update, and delete, okay? We can insert the data into the table. We can update the data in the table. We can delete the, okay, uh, data from the table. Okay, it's all about data case, okay? Data in the table. You are doing operations with the data in the table here you're only retrieving the data but you are not modifying it you're only querying it okay getting it from the table but here you are uh, doing some changes okay so uh, you are either inserting a data into the table or you are updating the existing data in the table or you are deleting the existing data in the table such kind of manipulation you are doing that's why this category of sql statements fall under dml that is data manipulation language then uh, other category of SQL statements we have is uh, DDL, data definition language. Here we have different statements like create, drop, alter, truncate. Using this uh, DDL SQL statements, we can create the table. We can delete the table. Okay, drop is a statement for deleting the table. You can also use drop for deleting the database also. Alter, okay, alter the columns. Okay, I'll do the changes at the table level. That is alter, truncate. Okay, truncate is also for deleting the table. Okay, so these are the things. Uh, data definition language category stuff. Okay, uh, then we have uh, this uh, TCL guys. Okay, uh, TCL. Next one is TCL. That is transaction control language okay there are few statements under tcl that is commit and rollback so commit means permanently saving the whatever after inserting the data or after deleting the data if you want to permanently save that particular state then you can go with the commit then rollback rollback means if you don't commit and if you roll back the changes uh, uh, the changes that you have done like inserting or deleting will be rolled back to the previous state okay so these are the transaction control language related SQL statements. And finally, we have DCL, that is data control language, okay? So here we have grant and revoke. These are permission levels, okay? That who who, who has the permissions uh, to do some changes and all, okay? You can give different type of permissions for different users, okay? So that is uh, grant means giving the permission, revoke means 
removing the permissions okay so sql statements can be categorized into different uh, categories like dql dml ddl tcl and ddl and these are the examples select insert update delete create drop alter truncate commit rollback grant and revoke are the examples of these different categories of sql statements so hope guys you got the answer for this question so that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye